Hey guys, B Tier Plumbing here. Today I'm here with my 1991 Artisan or Artesian Water Miser Toilet. So just in case y'all missed the final flushes video, the reason for the section is due to a cracked trapway. Um, I usually hate having cracked toilets or if they can't be installed or if it's noticeable damage, I usually don't keep them unless it's super rare and something I'd probably never find again. But because this isn't like something super vintage or like super hard to find, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and dissect it because I got a very similar replacement. So I'm gonna try and save the tank because there's nothing wrong with it. I can't get the bolts off, so hopefully this won't be too difficult. But um, yeah, first I guess uh, I'll start off with the rim and see if I can get this piece out. Uh, by piece, I mean the water restrictor thingy, whatever that is there. So I think it actually helps direct the flow. So here we go. Okay, so here it is, I don't know. Okay, so I got it out without damaging it. Um, if there was a way to get it out before I dissected it, I would have, cause I honestly was kind of curious to see how it flush. But um, as y'all can see, the water comes out through there. And I guess this thing sat in there like there. That's why there's this hole here that cut out this set like this and helped to directed the help direct the water around the rim which is pretty cool so um it is very open on the sides here and then as it gets to the front it opens up even more so um let's go ahead and open up the front here uh one thing about this toilet that's pretty cool it doesn't really oak look open rim which i find super interesting but um because most of them have the super tall thick rims that stick out of the bowl like a lot but um yeah let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more Didn't mean to do that but um you can see that's what the rim looks like that's actually a really good um view there and same for here you can see how it just kind of travels along the side of the bowl um so there really is no rim jets uh this porcelain is pretty thin that's why this toilet is light this is not horrible i've seen worse but um it's definitely not the greatest i will say that so uh yeah now Let's check the trapway. I doubt it's glazed, but just for fun, let's go ahead and see. So, yeah, this toilet, I mean, technically you could still flush it. That'd be kind of interesting, but um, yeah, the trapway on this is actually a pretty decent size as well. So that would explain the decent performance. Okay, so obviously, as y'all can see, eh, well, okay, it's kind of glossy. That might be just from it being flushed, but uh, it is not glazed, but... I'm not too disappointed because the size is actually pretty good on this, so that's always a good thing. Let me see if I can go ahead and break the tank off really quick. That's one side. Again, I really want to save the tank on this, so. There's a really good view of all the cracks in the trapway. Okay, now for this piece. Okay, this should give a pretty good view of the inside here. Um, I should be wearing protection because the piece just flew out my face. I got very lucky that it didn't hit my eye, but uh, yeah, the water would go through here. This hole right here is where the spud would go. You can kind of see the pattern there and it would just flow through there into the rim. So uh, let me just kind of bring this back over here to where the garbage pile is or broken pieces from the previous toilets. Um, let's see if I can break this piece open here where it's cracked, it should come out pretty easily. Wow, that's actually a lot more difficult than it should have been. There we go. So, uh, you can see the part I hit is where all the cracks were is a little bit busted out. You probably won't really be able to see it, but, um, yeah, so there's not too much more to dissect on this. It's not the most interesting toilet in the world. Uh, I'll probably add another clip of me tossing it in the dumpster, which will be pretty cool. But uh, let me go ahead and break out where the Artisan logo is. And I guess that knocked off the whole bowl or the whole right side of it. Oh, man. porcelain flying everywhere so uh 
yeah, that's a pretty good view of where the water would go through the tank to the bowl, so. Or to the rim, I'm sorry. But um, just for fun, let's take a, a swing out of the bowl here, because why not? So that broke pretty easily. That is very, very thin there. That is, that's pretty sad. Um, you can kind of see the date there, but I, I mean, it's a mobile home toilet, so I'm not super surprised, but that is very thin. I mean, should be at least a little bit thicker, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably add a clip of me tossing this in the dumpster, so don't click off yet, but really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Okay, here's the water miser. I guess I'm just gonna kinda drop this off. So uh, here goes nothing. I am so sad that was not focused, but uh, yeah, that was pretty cool.